Well, today was amazing, and I'm back at it tomorrow. Oh, whatever, I'll finish this later. <gasps> no, I gotta get ready for school. I did my homework. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to do this? Hey Eli, how was your day and how did your project go? Uh, uh, I, I failed. You failed Eli? That was your most important project for the school year. And I knew it when you weren't, I told you if you remember to study and you were just playing around and you know what? I didn't want to say anything and I didn't say anything because I wanted you to learn your lesson and now look see how important it is for you to study because if you don't study or if you don't do your project this is the result of it Eli yeah mom I'm really sorry and I promise I won't do it again so are we gonna go to basketball practice now basketball practice no I think we're gonna set some ground rules. Because if you're gonna fail on your school project, that means you're not serious about school. And you have a choice now, Eli. It's either school or basketball. If you don't do well in school, you can't do basketball. You gotta decide now. What? What do you mean no basketball? I have a tournament coming up. Eli, you gotta decide because I am done with you not doing well in the school project. And who else knows what else you're not doing good in school that you're not even probably even telling me about. So you gotta decide. But for now, no more basketball practice for now. And you might not go to your tournament. I'm sorry. Remember, my schoolwork has to be good, or else I won't even be able to play basketball. You got this. The boy would study and study and study, and also make sure that he gets all his homework done until he was confident enough that he did the best that he could in his schoolwork. The last assignment for my school year. Hopefully I do well. Alright, here's Eli's schoolwork and project. Let's see how he did. B plus is not too bad, but a B plus in science. Oh my gosh. He actually listened and really focused the school this time. And it shows because all of his marks are getting so much better. I know I said no basketball until he gets his grades good, but he definitely proves me wrong. Well, it looks like Eli can go back to practice and get ready for summer basketball games. I knew he could do it, Eli. Eli! 
Vediamo. Ah, sì. So, I was looking at your recent tests and projects that you did the last couple of weeks and last month. You really showed me clearly with your marks that you really improved in your schoolwork. I know you can do it. I know basketball can be, you know, you want to focus solely on that. But school is number one priority. Because when you get older, when you go to high school, and when you go to college, your schoolwork is just as important as playing ball. If you don't do well in school, you can't play basketball that well either. And it comes in play, okay? Yeah. So I'm not trying to be hard on you with your schoolwork, but in general, even if you weren't playing basketball, you need to do well in school. And I know you can do it, as long as you put your mind to it, right? So I'm super proud of you, and I have a surprise for you. What is it? Well, I know you missed your tournament, which is fine, because I had to, you know, you had to learn your lesson with that. I'm sorry. But I spoke to your coach, and you're going to go to practice today so you can get ready for your summer games. Really? Yeah, I mean, I had to. Thank you. You're welcome. But remember, school comes first. If you do not do well in school and you fail a test, or you don't do your homework good, or I hear from your teacher, you're out. Okay. Okay? All right. Now, go get ready for basketball. Okay. So you go to practice.